Cow Poncha is about people. It's about all of us, it's about society, it's about how we exhibit in clan-like behaviours and how we're primal little fallible beings that need one another desperately. My biggest dream is for Cow Poncha to feel like a, t a TV series, to feel like Sopranos. I have characters that uh, go on little journeys and find little stories and they have a relationship with one another and they have a relationship with the audience and a relationship with the space. As the years pass, our lives change and the world changes and I just want Cow Poncha to be like supporting this ever fluid, ever changing way of making work so that it doesn't have to be rigid, it can be what it is, be the life that it is and therefore should grow and journey and travel. I'm not a huge fan of westerns, I haven't watched loads of them and it's not my genre <laughs> in a way. I'm using it to be playful and to have fun. I'm taking something that isn't mine and making it mine, you know. But we for sure looked at the cowboy boot and the way it makes the body work and the way it makes the, f the feet heavy or what a cowboy hat might do, you know. This most playful, joyful figure of a man or this gay icon or this frightful man with a pistol or the epitome of what it means to be strong. I love that one figure can harness and be so many different things and be looked at in so many different ways. There's so much drama and uh, hilarity and also you can use this little story of this man uh, to play with all your own little stories too and I guess that's the key thing with Cow Puncher, this little kind of sweet failing thing is probably in everyone, you know, this, this cowboy. I think part of our rehearsal process is this kind of slow fumbling, lying on the floor, rolling about improvisation. And I think by the time it comes to perform the work, I guess the aim is to allow for the dancers to become wide open, harness what that thing is, learn how to rehearse it so that they're not necessarily bearing their souls every time they're performing the work, but they are articulating the feeling. They always say to me that dancing is uh, the easy part eventually. It's when they have to become people doing the dancing that, that's the hardest part. It's honest in that way, I think. My work is really divisive. People who love dance often hate my work and people who never go and see dance come and see my work and love it. It's super divisive, which I'm proud of. The experience of watching it might feel more like Grand Theft Auto than it might like watching a contemporary dance piece. I really, really want for it to offer this sense of play and joy and inclusivity and whether it's like doing a line dance or a folk dance or feeling like you're at the club or whatever. I want there to be a sense of union and I want the audience to feel a part of that union, you know. That's really what I want my work to do. Ultimately, the most important thing is the work always and you can't be too overwhelmed by a bigger venue, let's say because my work isn't always beautiful or about clean straight lines or high legs. I think it's ensuring that the belly of what I'm making and what I'm about doesn't feel like it must shift when it reaches a more glorious setting. It needs to be as ugly as ever, as robust as ever, and, you know, shout louder.